The investigation into a controversial yearbook page at a North Suburban High School is now over. The page included a quote seemingly supporting the October 7th attacks on Israel. Terrence Lee at the live desk with the latest. Yeah, we learned a lot tonight, Dawn and Scott. The attorney who handled the investigation says he interviewed administrators, the yearbook advisor, and three students involved. And in context, that controversial quote was not at all about the terror attack. You may recall our reporting on this controversy in the Glenbrook South yearbook. There's a page on the war in Gaza. It includes a partial quote from a student saying, I saw what Palestine did and I was happy because they're finally defending themselves. The attorney says he listened to the entire recorded interview and said the student journalist asked, what are your opinions on the war in Gaza? And the quoted student's answer never referenced October 7th. Parents at the board meeting tonight, though, expressing their frustration with how the situation has been handled and the lack of consequences for the yearbook advisor. It was the incident in District 30 at Maple School. The school responded immediately. But somebody wrote something in the yearbook after the fact. And they collected all the yearbooks. They took care of it immediately. Here we're going on a couple of months, and we have no answers. Now, to clarify, she is referring to handwritten swastikas that were found in some Maple School yearbooks and how quickly District 30 officials collected those yearbooks. We also learned tonight the advisor had several conversations with the yearbook's editor-in-chiefs about the quote. Two of them are Jewish, and she says neither of them view that statement as anti-Semitic. Dawn.